the history of basketball. Basketball was invented by James Naismith on December 1, 1891. He was instructor in physical education at International Young Men's Christian Association. Soccer ball and pitch basket was the first basketball equipment. Soccer ball was used for the first two years. Since Naismith and five of his original players were Canadians, it is not surprising that the Canada was the first country outside the U.S. to play the game. Basketball was introduced in France in 1893, in England in 1894, in Australia, China, and India soon thereafter, and in Japan in 1900s. The first set of rules was published and distributed through the YMCA movement in 1892, and this resulted in the game spreading rapidly throughout Canada and USA. In 1893, the game was introduced into the Physical Training College in Hampstead, now is the Dartford College of PE. By 1898, a professional league was established in the USA, and by 1911, basketball had spread throughout the UK as a sport. In 1924, it was introduced as a demonstration sport at the Paris Olympic Games, and Great Britain won the title. The England Basketball Association was formed in 1936, 13 years before the NBA was formed in America. The 1970s saw the introduction of both men's and women's national leagues in the UK, and by 1999, teams were entered in the over 16 national leagues with almost 100 competing at under 15 levels. By 1990, there were 117 member countries and FIBA, making basketball the second largest of all the world's governing bodies, and also the world's fastest growing and largest participation sport. To date, there are 212 member countries worldwide. Wheels in the UK alone, there are over 500,000 people who regularly participate in recreational basketball and it has become increasingly common to find the sport as a part of the curriculum in schools at all levels. It is also used widely as a community activity as anyone of any age or gender can participate. Basketball is now included in the Commonwealth Games and the sport in general received a lot of coverage when the GB wheelchair team performed very successfully in the Paralympics recently proving that it is a sport that is accessible and playable by all. Nature of the game First, basketball is played by two teams of five players each to play inside. Second, the object of the game is to score more points than your opponent. Third, the ball is passed, thrown, bounced, baited, or rolled from one player to another. And last, a player in possession of the ball must maintain contact with the floor with one foot, unless the player is shooting, passing, or dribbling. Physical contact with an opponent can result in a foul if the contact impedes the desired movement of the player. Basic skills in basketball Number 1 is shooting. Shooting skills is the main goal in basketball. Practice the BEEF method for shooting. B. Balance. Keep your feet shoulder width apart with your dominate foot slightly ahead of your non-dominate foot. E. Eyes. Focus on the rim. Another E is elbow. Dominate hand's elbow should be aligned with your torso in a 90 degree angle, so you are looking at the back of your wrist. F. Follow through. Click your wrist after releasing the ball. Imagine reaching into a cookie jar up on a high shelf. Other shooting tips. First, rest the ball on the fingertips, not in the palm of your hand. 
second, your non-dominate hand acts only as a guide to the ball. This hand doesn't assist in shooting the ball. And last, if shooting from a greater distance, you must jump in order to recruit power from your leg. Passing skills, an alternative way to move the ball around the court that is not comprised of the act of dribbling. There are three common passes in basketball. Number one is chest pass. The ball is thrown from your chest to your teammate's chest with no bounce. Second is bounce pass. The ball is thrown from your chest and it bounces once before entering your teammate's hands near the chest area. This pass is most difficult pass to defend. Last is overhead pass. The ball is passed from over your head into your teammate's chest. Tips to proper passing The next important skills is dribbling. It is easily the most important skill for any basketball player to master. Without good dribbling and ball handling skills, you won't be able to move down the court with the ball, which could mean you'll end up with moving violations instead of points. It doesn't matter how great your jump shot or free throw is if you can't move the ball down the court legally. Dedicate a set amount of time each day to just handling the ball and working on your dribbling and you'll see progress in no time. Jumping. Jumping also is another skill that can define how good basketball player is. Jumping is involved in offense during the jump ball in the beginning, while taking shots and sometimes while trying to catch up a pass. On defensive, you will need ability to jump when trying to block a shot or pass. Being able to outjump your opponent for a rebound is also important. Running. Running is a big part of basketball. In a full court game, you will find yourself running back and forth as a game quickly transitions between offense and defense. When you have the ball, running will help you to avoid defenders and get to the basket quicker. On defense, you often will find yourself needing to run after the opponent, especially during fast breaks. Next is rebounding. It is one of the most important phases of the game basketball. Rebound gives a team a possession of the basketball, and each possession helps both a team's offense and their defense, and ultimately helps a team to win basketball games.
layups. A shot where a player releases the ball close to the basket while continuing to run off one foot. For right-handed layup. Dribble with right hand, jump off left foot, shoot with right hand as you lift your left leg. For left-handed layup, dribble with left hand, jump off right foot, and then shoot with left hand as you lift your right leg. Aim for the side of the box of the backboard you are shooting from. aspects of the game and things to consider number one team composition 12 to 14 players only each team and five players to play inside and 10 regular players each team number two the game is started with a jump ball in the center circle between two opponents. Number 3 Duration of the game A basketball game consists of 32 minutes of playing time, divided into four 8-minute quarters. There are four quarters that are 8 minutes long. Number 4 Timeout It has two timeouts per quarter except the last quarter, which has three timeouts. It consists of nine timeouts for the whole game. Number 5 Substitutions Substitutions are permitted by either team when the whistle is blown to stop the game or after the last free throw if the ball becomes dead. After a basket is scored in the last 2 minutes of the 4th quarter on extra period, only the team who has been scored against may initiate a substitution. There are 5 maximum substitutions each team every quarter with a total of 20 substitutions for the whole game. Number 6 Foul is an infraction of the rules more serious than violation. Most fouls occur as a result of illegal personal contact with an opponent and or unsportsmanlike behavior. Here are the list of some types of fouls. Number 1. Blocking foul is called when one player uses their body to prevent the movement of another player. This is often called when the defensive player is trying to draw a charge, but does not have their feet set or initiates the contact. Next is legal hand use. This foul is called for any use of the hands on another player that the referee thinks is illegal. It's generally called when you hit another player on the arm during shooting or when trying to steal the ball. Next is holding, similar to a hand check foul, but is generally called when a player grabs another player and holds on to prevent them from moving. Fourth is offensive foul. An offensive foul is type of a personal foul that offensive players commit when their team possesses the ball. The two most common offensive fouls are charging and illegal ball screens. Charging is when an offensive player makes contact with a defensive player who has planted their feet in a locked position. While an illegal screen is when a non-ball handling offensive player moves while setting a screen for their teammate to prevent the defender from moving about the court. 
Number 7. Violation. It is the minor class of illegal actions. Most violations are committed by the team with possession of the ball. When a player mishandles the ball or makes an illegal move. Some types of violations are Goal tending is a violation of interfering with the ball while it is on its way to the basket and it is in a downward flight above the basket ring and within the imaginary cylinder and not touching the rim. Traveling, another of two common violation in basketball is common as traveling. This occurs when the ball handler steps forward or backwards three steps or more without dribbling the ball. Rules state that the ball handler must continue dribbling the ball to prevent violations. Next is backing violation. A violation called when the offense fails to bring the ball from the back court to the front court. When the violation is called, the offense loses possession of the ball and the opposing team inbounds the ball from the side lines. And last is stepping on the line. It occurs when a player steps on any part of the boundary lines or they crosses the sidelines and baselines in any way. They're out of the bounds. An inbounds pass for the other team at the spot of the infraction is the result of this turnover. Number 8. Time of violation. There are four types of time violations. First is three second violation. It is a rule that says that a player cannot stay inside the paint for more than three consecutive seconds. Next is five second violation. It is a violation called on the ball handler. Once a player offense receives the ball, they have five seconds to either dribble or hold the ball until they have to shoot, pass, or switch from dribbling to holding the ball and vice versa. The 5 second count will only be started if the ball handler is being guarded by a defender. Third is 8 second violation. The first to when the team with possession does not advance the ball out of the ball court past the half court line in 8 seconds or less. Once the team inbounds the ball, they have no more than 8 seconds to advance the ball past mid court. And last is 24 second violation is the enforcement of the shot clock limit. It occurs when a team has failed to make a shot that time. Number 9 Misconduct An unbecoming behavior of a player contributing to the disturbance or unusual flow of a game. And last number 10 Overtime or extra time is an additional period of play specified under the rules of a sport to bring a game to a decision and avoid declaring the match a tie or drawn where scores are same. This extra period is played only if the game is required to have a clear winner, as in single elimination tournaments where only one team or players can advance to the next round or win the tournament.